Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at my room. Um, I figured I should do this since I recently finished uh, completely finishing this new display, uh, putting all the cars in everywhere. I'm just surrounded by cars now whenever I sit down at this desk. And we also did hit uh, 150 subscribers recently, which is a um, a quarter away to a thousand, which is pretty great. When I do hit a thousand, uh, I'll be able to do live streams from my phone, and um, I'll also be able to make community posts, which are the two biggest things in my mind, since uh, in that case I can actually do live streams. You can live stream from your PC, um, but if you don't have 1,000 subscribers, but there's nothing like worthwhile cars related on my uh, PC, although... Uh, there is something that I do want to show you, but I'm not sure how I'm going to pull it off that's on my PC. Uh, I'll try to figure it out eventually. Um, yeah, that's just about it. There's no really special occasion. Um, but we're already in game, like, 10 subscribers since then. We only hit, like, a week ago, which is good growth, at least for my channel. Uh, other channels that are much bigger than me, oh, that's uh, not nothing too much, but uh, for me, it's solid. And uh, thank you all so much for watching, and without further ado, uh, we should get on with the actual room tour, uh, well, room slash collection tour. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at my collection first, and at the end, uh, we're going to take a look at my room, which I think you should stay, just because there's a lot of uh, other cars-related stuff and uh, around my room. There's going to be some interesting stories as well. Uh, first off, let's start off with this. This is what I use to record. This is, of course, uh, the infamous Cars Encyclopedia. Uh, just a few days ago, it actually finally bro uh, broke. I've shown it in a couple other videos where it's like super weak, um, and it did eventually break. You can see it in there. There's the rest of it. Uh, so I'll just be using this to record now. Here's a little toothpick, which I only used once, but I plan to use it again in the future. Like. Taking a look at that, oh, you can see the decals and all that. <clears throat> we're gonna first take a look at all these. Uh, so we're gonna get my chair out of the way. I'm gonna pull up the step ladder. This is a metal piece that was left over, and uh, I use it to get some of the cars um, out if they like fall behind. Uh, let's say, example, I'm uh, adding a new car onto this little um, shelf here, and then, oh, there goes. Uh, Petrov Trunkov, uh, so I'll move these guys out of the way. I'll stick this um, metal thing under there. I'll kind of pull it out, and it actually works surprisingly well. Um, but enough about that. Let me get on to this part. This is the uh, a lot of the um, just pop wheels random, randomly scattered around. I did do a time lapse of uh, me filling this in, and I'll uh, add another time lapse at the end of this video where I uh, filled in uh, some other shelves. Uh, which will be at the very end. Uh, it's pretty cool seeing all the, you know, cars just be quickly uh, filled in. So that's also all oh, there's a few eye. Uh, there's a Chevy Blazer right here too. I'm going a bit too fast, but I'm sure most of you guys don't care a whole lot about oh, some of these Hot Wheels. So we're gonna get those out of the way first, and then we'll take a look at some of the Disney car stuff. There is a uh, car that looks very similar to the King. And over here you have the Octane from Rocket League, uh, which I do, that is a game that I play um, quite often. And down here you have some of the Matchbox stuff. And we also have some stuff over here. Uh, those are the main cases where I keep all the really cool stuff. Uh, but we'll get to those not in a second. There's a cool little radar truck right there. Which I got way back sometime, I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. There's the uh, 60th anniversary, I believe. Uh, 60th anniversary Ford. You know, it's a bunch of random cars scattered about. And this is the, um, this, oh, here are my Tomica cars. Um, I was going to do a video on them, but um, it took way too long to record. It's like 16 minutes or something, which isn't too long. Uh, at least nowadays with those like bigger videos that I do, um, but it was like impossible to open the packages and it was just uh, super boring so never uploaded that. Starting with this Ferrari we have my, my uh, Majorettes. 
uh, half of, over half of these I got at Toys R Us the final time I went there in late 2018. Starting with this Lincoln right here, we just have a bunch of other random stuff like uh, the test track car. Um, and then we have some more Matchbox uh, stuff to finish it off. And down here you have another Matchbox shelf. This is the lowest one. Some news rams and stuff. There's the Renault that never closes. Um, and the step ladder. My feet are getting itchy. There's the uh, GMC that I reviewed um, a while ago. 90 second reviews is an odd thing. They don't get a whole lot of views until like later. Uh, at first they only get like 20 views and then I'll check back a month later and they're at 200. Or at least for some of them. Here is some of the premium haulers that I have because, I mean, why not put them up there? There is the 51st anniversary cars. The last time I did a collection video, I actually showed these guys in package, uh, kind of sitting on my staircase shelf, uh, which was a staircase that went up to my bunk bed. I have, I don't have it anymore, but it was like a bed um, that went up. Instead of like one on top of the other, they were right next to each other, kind of like parallel. Or interse intersecting, not parallel, uh, which is pretty cool. And we had stairs leading up to the one that I didn't sleep in, so that my dog could get up there and like see open night. And uh, there's also shelves built into the stairs, but uh, with all these, there's uh, unfortunately no need for them, so they're kind of sitting up there in the hallway. Here are all my Hot Wheels premium cars, not a whole lot of them, but it is quite a few, not really. And then that finishes off. Um, Hot Wheels shelf. Now we're going to move over here. This is the Hot Wheels um, carnies, as I want to call them. They're not carny plastics, but they're similar. That's what I call these type of, type of, this type of case. Um, there's some matching cars. And the glare is nasty right now, which really sucks. I'm going to have to close that in a second. No, it doesn't really impact what we're... Uh, what we see after we finish all this. Let's qu try and like, quick, quickly get through this so I can get to the, some of the stuff that I actually really enjoy, although I enjoy this too, but I know most of my viewers are not interested in that. There's the Brasilia, which is, at the time of recording, the most recent 90 Second Reviews episode, and I don't believe I have any planned currently. Um, maybe I'll have to do some in the future if you really want, but... I'm not planning on doing any right now, although there will have been. Here's the red uh, line. I'm uh, not in the Hot Wheels term, but that line is completely full of red cars. And then we have some Porsches right here. Porsche, 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 Lamborghini, Lamborghini, Audi R8, Ferrari, Ferrari. There's some other you know, jumbled stuff together. This interesting stuff. All right, we're almost at the bottom. Here's a, here's a bunch of racing cars that I just put together because, I mean, why not? And then down here you have my Lotus Esprits, Datsun Bluebird, and then you have a bunch of classic cars uh, like Talbots and Cords and all that. And down to the Matchbox section, there's the W123 Wagon next to the Golf MK1, both who I did review um, like a month or two ago. Um, Here's some, there's uh, a lot of the cars that I uh, did um, that were shown in the, you know, what was it called, the 700 subscriber special, which I did. And if you didn't see the announcement at the beginning of the Woody and Buzz video, uh, it was canceled due to low views and they were just hard and difficult to make. Um, but if you do want to check out those first two episodes, um, I believe it shows every single car. Um, I, yeah, actually it does show every single car. Um, I think, I think, I mean, I don't really remember, which probably isn't a good thing, um, but it does tell some interesting stories about uh, how I got these cars, what the story behind these cars are, and how rare these cars are, and, and just simply why I think they're cool. We are approaching the bottom um, of the Matchbox case. Oh, that's a Fiat. I thought it was a Mini Countryman. We'll see those. And at the bottom, let's take a look at two rows at once. You can see some Jeeps right there. There's a Lexus and Mercury Cooper. And then the bottom two rows, there's Camaros and all that. 
Oh, there's the Wi-Fi and the Target thingy, I don't know. A van for like six months at my local Target. These were the only two Matchbox cars that they had. Uh, so I ended up picking them up. Um, this was in like 2013. And um, they're actually pretty cool, especially the Wi-Fi van. Just some pretty neat designs. Alright, we are now going to head over to um, my other part. There it is, sir. These will uh, go pretty quickly. And here are some other Hot Wheels cars that it's kind of thrown here into my old bookcases. Uh, at the bottom, there's, you know, books. Um, but there's a large Camaro, and Tesla, and all that. And there's the GM, I believe it's called the Lean, the, uh, lean Machine. Let's take a look at that. What's it called? It's called... He doesn't have it on the white on the base. That thing should, oh, this guy's backwards. Did you not notice that? And then finally we have this case all the way down here. That was a step ladder, um, which uh, was one of the things included in the time lapse that you'll see at the very end here. And once we're done with this. We can start looking at some of the Disney car stuff, which is what most of you guys probably tuned in for. There's another uh, GM uh, thingy, police car. I have a bunch of cars, <laughs> which is uh, normal since this is a car collection. And that finishes it off. So now, I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna open the case, and then we're gonna grab a good old step ladder. I'm over six feet already, but uh, I still need to use the step ladder since these things are pretty tall. Uh, they're the SDCC exclusive, uh, like painted die cast cars and stuff, with the metallic Rusty's McQueen next to the metallic car steering McQueen. You have some other metallic McQueens, and then you have some of the uh, metallic racers. Uh, some other random metallic stuff. There's the non-prototype version of Steel Blue Jackson Storm. Uh, the prototype version you'll see at the very end uh, of the cars part. And then you just have some other random cars that I've thrown together here. The Spies, you have Rod Torque Redline, Leland Turbo, all the Finn McMissile variants. You get into the Holly, Holly Schiffel variants. Uh, as well as the, Chi not the Chinese, the uh, Smiling uh, Primer McQueen, which was exclusive to the multi-pack, which I just kind of put them up there because I, I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And you have all of the uh, Carter Pin people, including the canceled Emily engine. And then you down here, you have the Hot Rod, when I get Hot Rod Smokey, will go over here. And then you have the Legends, the Cars Through Tractor, and the Man, the Myth, the Legend, Bork. Moving on to Thunder Hollow stuff, I can... Step louder out until we move on to the next case. There's all like the fans, and you move on to the um, the actual racers. That's uncorrected patty. Unfortunately, I don't have the regular one, regular one yet, um, which is it's like an odd variant. There's uh, McQueen and Cruz. There's Ro the corrected Roscoe. There's a uh, Guido with a rag who everyone forgot about, and there's a uh, custom that I made with Luigi. And uh, his like entire rear muddy, um, which I uh, did appear in the movie because I just had an extra Luigi and thought, why not? Mr. Drippy, RV Doctor Damage, Sweater, and these are the original two ones that I reviewed in like tw early 2017 that got tons of views because I was like the first to review them. I'm just gonna go back to those days um, just because I got like I got a lot of cars like as soon as they were out because I was like. Oh, why not? But nowadays, I try to collect more to, like, buy rare stuff. Here's a lot of the uh, reporters. There's the cancelled Cars 3 Brent Mustang Burger. Um, out of a certain chick. There's Cars 1 Daryl with Bob and Cars 3 Bob. And then you have all the, uh, like, news people. And then you end with Chuki, and then you have some more non, like, camera people. Here's a custom by the name of Mo Revan. Not to be confused with Mo Revlin, uh, who I got from Cars and Stuff. I, I reviewed him last year for my uh, 500 subscriber special, part one, where I took a look at all my customs. So you can go and check that out if you want to. It's 
Um, last year, there's Tess McGriddle, there's the Cancelled Amara Rusk in 2017, and then you move on down the list. Uh, Human does have an inaccurate camera, but I do plan to buy an accurate one soon as I, um, I did find a good listing for that, and a better Tim since this guy's pretty beat up. The rest of them is Turkson. You have Chuck Choke Cables and Nelson Blind Spot back there. Moving on down, you have. That was almost very bad. Uh, you have all the WGP people. Uh, that's Chinese Adam Park and the Chinese version, of, Chinese version of Bruce Boxman, which I found at Target back when he was out. There's Max Chanel's Pity, who was super rare for some reason. And then the rest of it is just normal. Uh, non-rare cars. There's um, a lot of the pit crew for McQueen. Uh, there's Mel Rojas Jr. and Globy. And you can see back there, that's where I keep all the um, the toolboxes and tires. Down here, we have all the next gens. Um, I'm not sure what I should say right here, just because uh, everyone loves the next gens, um, which is going to... That is a also a false statement. Um, I'm sure there's someone out there who doesn't like the next gens. There's uh, a custom JP drive that I got from Jim Scavenger back in 2017. Moving on down here, you have the Cars 3 stock cars. Um, Marcus Crankler being a forgotten one. Oh, there, there's my prototype Bobby Rotesta. You can see just under his mouth that there is a prototype code. Um, you have all the other Cars 3 racers. Um, there's car collection, and then you finish it off with those guys. At the very bottom here, you have all of the Cars 1 stock cars, Kevin Shiftwright, Hollingus, of Carlo, Mini Flywheel, all those guys. And you have the second level, the third level, and then the very bottom level. That's a factory custom right there. Um, man, Ponchi Wipeout has seen better days, and that finishes off this case. And we now have to move on to the next one. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna take the step ladder again, move it over here. And it's getting all kind of messed up. And we're gonna open this thing. If we can make sure that it doesn't hit that what hit. Yep, all right, so we'll put the step ladder back. Do that, do that again. Yep, boom, it's open. Up here you have all the racing legends, like Eli Turnpike. Now you move into that. They are smoky with hay bales in the back. Um, this is a random appearance by Radio Springs John Nassau Tire. There's the 2010 version of Bessie, which I actually got back in like 2010. And then you have all the uh, cars that appeared at the movie theater. There's Slick Flick with Hat, who I recently reviewed. There's Frank, and then you have all the circus cars at the bottom. Here are all the Rusty's cars, the uh, Rusty cars. There's a custom I got from Four Wheel Drive 7, uh, Craig Faster, and then you move into the Rusty's Racing Center cars. There's a Primary Red Queen with the phone that came in the multi-pack. Here are the Fireboard Beach uh, four-pack cars, and then you have all the trainees. Um, that's where Jay will go at the very end. And then between um, Ronald and what's his name, Sadiq, that's where Ernesto will go. Between uh, Shrigram and Aiden, that's where uh, Sequoia will go, who is uh, officially canceled and did not get replaced uh, by Ernesto. If we take a look at some of the UPCs, he was actually uh, then uh, he they were listed at the same time, but we um, only really knew about Sequoia. There's all the Grim variants, all the Acer variants. There's another custom that I got from Four Wheel Drive 7. Um, you have Frederick's Basket at the end, moving on down, and there's two more customs that I got from him. And there's the Pinnies, Glenry Trunkov, there's Trunkov with Boot, and then you have all these Mater, there's Capture Professor Z. Back there, Grim with Camera, Acer with Luggage, you have all the Torch cars. All three of these uh, 2016 ones are like super rare now for some reason. Then you have all the Miles X Rod variants, including the cancelled. 2016 Super Chase Outback Miles Axelrod. Down here you have all the, um, what are they called, the hydraulic cars, uh, such as uh, Radio Springs Hydraulic Ramon, and then you move on. There's all the Cars 2 variants, 
Now let me get into some of the storytelling stuff. The Cars 1 variants, those are three different cars right there. Uh, the green ones, and then you have the blue Miami Ramon. Uh, there's um, the fan favorite Ramon, and then you have all the some of the tuners with the flames and the parking boots and all that. And down you have all the Radio Springs townies, starting off with Sally. And you have Ramon, there's a corrected flow from the 2017 Radio Springs Classics line, the Cars 3 version. And then you have like the waitresses and wait waitresses and all that. There's Doc Hudson, fabulous um, Doc Hudson, and then when uh, Doc with Tire gets uh, released, we'll move Gallic and Gear Grinder down here, and we'll move those over so we can put Doc with Tire between Fabulous Doc and Sheriff. Um, there's Sarge, so the film Fillmore variants. There's the 2017 uh, Radio Springs Classics Fillmore again. Down here you have Lizzie, Stanley, Red. Uh, and then a bunch of Luigi and Guido variants, plus Otis. Uh, here are my three pre, uh, Precision Series cars. Doc with Pit Stand, and then you have a bunch of Road Trip cars, fan favorite stuff. And then you have uh, the Sarge with, like, the, uh, the Cannon, whatever it's called. Down here you have um, the uh, Ferrari F430, Costanzo and Antonio, who I reviewed yesterday. Uh, and then you have all the other um, townies, like Tom Talk and uh, Mini. Um, Grant Greenlight will go right there when I, uh, hopefully am able to get a custom of him. There's the cancelled two-tone blue car. And let's move on down the list. There are the two delivery trucks. Uh, I should hopefully be getting another one soon. Um, there's the, uh, the boot camp dudes. Um, TJ and all that. Here are all the Mater variants. Uh, those are all Cars 1 ones, apart from those two at the end. Uh, because the Mater with um, one eye Mater couldn't fit up there. There's also another custom I got from Forward Drive 7, which is Sleeping Mater. There's a bunch of Cars 2 variants. Uh, that's the only Super Chase I ever found in stores right there is Duct Tape Mater. More Cars 2 Mater variants, ending it off with the dreaded, um, what's his name, 95 hat Mater, no, Lightning Bolt Mater. I actually want to switch. Uh, those two, so when I'm rec done recording, I'll do that. Here are the final Mater variants, and then we will move on to the Elite Queen variants, which uh, I thought there would be a lot more of them, but there actually isn't. I mean, there's still enough to, like, take up um, this huge line, this huge case full of them, but uh, there's less than I expected there to be. <coughs> we have the Dynacom McQueens. There's the custom Bling Bling McQueen with the corrected wheels. And you have the Danico people, uh, including the uh, Danico Shogun number two, who is rare for some reason. Um, you have all the other you know, Danico people with chick kicks kind of hiding back there. That's it for this case. Let's try to close that up. And I'm going to move the step ladder over. Thank you. They're going to open it first so we don't have any issues like we did last time. And here we go. Starting up here, you have all the XRS stuff. Uh, Cam and Paul will go over there. There's the drag racers, the mud racers, and then there's the first three customs that I ever made. Here are all the race fans. They don't like have flags and all that, but all these people did appear um, at a racetrack. <coughs> Whether it be the Motor Speedway of the South or, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and the Florida 500. Now we get into the people who actually have, um, excuse me, that was Eon, who actually have flags. Now uh, there's a custom Seymour Tires, who I got from, uh, Cars and Stuff along with Mo River. And then you have all the other Cars 2 fans, more Cars 2 fans, including Bob Motor and Max Car. And then you have the Danico fans down here. There's Big Al, the Convoy Brothers, uh, along with Bud, the other RVs. Um, plus the uh, the Rusty's fans who uh, fit perfectly in here. This is a custom I got from Four Wheel Drive Seven. Here are the Florida Five Hundred cars. Well, not really. Um, the race people. Uh, you have Fabulous McQueen, Cars Three McQueen. There's Cars Three Jeff Corvette. You have all the security people. Uh, there's Actual Accelerator. Hmm. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm so tired. A bunch of other people. There's 
We have Ariel Lomis drilling with headset. Arnie Storman with the two helicopters since they couldn't fit over here. And there's the racing tractors plus race damage mood springs. <coughs> uh, Morgan Martins, Tiny Lugsworth. Uh, there's two Skyder Shields along with Tony Owen and Alfredo. My throat's just um, coughing. I think I do have allergies at this time of year. But enough about that. That's a bit weird. But here's all the British people along with the Audubon Society. All of the police cars, plus the Queen and all that. And then you have all the all the uh, pub people, plus Michael Engine and the Flames cars. And then down here you have Finish Line Friends and the Queen. Uh, the gold one will go here too. And then you get one day. You have like the Mel Dorado show, plus Sergeant High Gear and... Uh, what's his name? Topper Dickington. Uh, all those through is kind of falling off. I should put him back up there. There we go. Couple bites from my dog, you can see. My puppy, rather. She's like, you have to carry her down the stairs. Um, because she isn't allowed to go up there because she'll pee everywhere. Uh, there's all the uh, parent French cars. Uh, that's where Tommy with oil can will go. I do have him on the way. And then you move into all the uh, Italian people. <clears throat> you can see the uh, there's a card under there, the card that Megan came with. And then you finish it off with the uh, Italian people plus manual. There's Tokyo, there's the corrected Zen Master Pity variant. See the mustache plus all the pities. You have uh, the super the 2013 super chases, another super chase. And then you move into some of the uh, Tokyo regulars. Here's all the import people plus Mike Fuse. At the bottom you have like Uchi. Ty Dictator, um, then another airport dude, uh, Trent Croto, and then you have the wrestler dudes, the sumo dudes. Down here you have uh, the Cars 1 pit crews, uh, like the Danico, Bumper Save, there's my favorite pity out of them all, um, Pickle and Perry. Here are the HTV pities, plus Earl Filter, all that, uh, RPM dudes. Uh, Octane Gain, all those, and then you have the custom J Motor M, and Mike Stock Car, and that pretty much finishes, finishes off in that case. So, close it again, open the next one, and then we'll go from there. they are all the uh, like Cars Land slash Disneyland. Uh, cars. Um, they don't have a whole lot of them, but, uh, there is quite a few. Here are the Fireball Beach Racers, which I'm not sure why people actually like them. People like them more than XRS, which is really surprising to me. Uh, that moves into Thomasville. There's the cancelled, uh, Darren Leadfoot. Uh, then you have the rest of the Thomasville cars. Some of, like, the T-Rock stuff, like the Carnival Cup. And then you have those three at the end. There's some other, uh, the uh, cancelled short cars. There's cancelled Bunny, Lightning McQueen. With all the other Easter cars. Then move into the uh, Christmas cars. And there's the uh, multi-pack exclusive ones. Mater, Sheriff, Doc, uh, Santa. And then you have the Radiator Swings 500 people. Plus the Easter bags, baskets at the very end. Then have the Tokyo Dudes. Um, like Kabuto, uh, four nin three ninjas. Hope to get far soon. There's some like the other drifter people cars. Tokyo Manor, uh, Van San. I like him. Uh, there's El Matador with a fake cape. Or the pities on the car cars from that short. I'm getting kind of tired. Wait, is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. Uh, these are the what are they called? The Storytellers, uh, the Motorama Girls, plus a Thailand version of Flo, who I thought I'd throw in, so why not? The Time Travel Cars, made of the Greater, plus an Astronaut Lightning McQueen. Uh, you have all the Heavy Metal Mater people, plus the Referee Pity, Ice Creamer, and Dr. Ashley Dragon. Here's some more um, fans. 
plus the uh, Captain Moonier and Corporal Kim, and the Nazca truck. Down here you have all the haulers, which are the Cars 1 haulers. These are the Cars 2 haulers. No, not Cars 2, these are the Cars 3 stock car haulers. And these are the non, um, what are they called? The non, uh, racing haulers, plus the cabs up there, including the cancelled Mooch Wings cab. There down here is my latest factory custom. Uh, that's Apple Lightning McQueen. All the silvers, plus my prototype uh, version of Steel Blue Jackson Storm, uh, who will go next to another prototype, which should hopefully be here soon. It's going to be um, pretty cool. Here are the three haulers that I couldn't fit in there, including my custom uh, Kenny Nets, aka the Clutch Aid hauler. And all, here are all my Disney store stuff, um, you know, cars. There's that guy who hasn't been in a video for a while. Should probably put him back at some point. Some other Disney store stuff. Oh, these are the um the um the uh, Toys R Us exclusives that were in like June first or something. Then you have all my uh, mini racers and micro drifters and mini adventure um cars. Moving on over here, we have plain stuff. Uh, there is all like the piston not piston peak cars. I actually don't have a normal Dusty, which is weird. I have just collect what, whatever random planes I liked. Um, so now I've got a big weird gap. That's not even a skipper. That's another one of the jigsaws. There's corn plane. Over here, you have the uh, racing planes. Bulldog, all that. There's Arturo um, with his pity. And you have the rest of those dudes back there, like Pack Rat and Piston, Gordon. Here are some of the larger cars that I have. Um, that one's broken. This is a, a UPS, um, die cast, which I'm not sure if it's, like, anywhere or not, because I got it from my uncle who works for UPS. If you look on the bottom, it says, it says, made for, made exclusively, exclusively for UPS, so I'm not exactly sure if it's, like, UPS worker exclusive, I don't know. So it's a pretty cool piece to have. Over here, you have... Uh, some more larger stuff. Uh, there's a weird something back there. It's a Hot Wheels. Uh, those are my three uh, Matchbox Disney buses. I wish they have there from like November, October, November of like uh, one year to the very end of the other. Uh, I have the 2009 one, which doesn't make sense because I wasn't there in 2009. I was still like a, a young toddler. Uh, so that one is probably from like a lot that I bought, uh, but the other two were legit ones. You have the 2018 one in the middle right there. I was there in 2018, and the 2019 one on the uh, the right. I mean, I mean the left. So yeah, this both makes sense. You have some other random cars. There's a packaged Swiss car, uh, which my uh, aunt and uncle picked up while they were in Switzerland one time, and I've uh, looked it up, and it's like I haven't found it anywhere else. So I'm guessing it's like rare, but one really cares about it. Uh, some of the Hot Wheels haulers, some more 118s. Uh, there's the Chicago Blackhawks and Bonies. Uh, there's two General Lees. Uh, those are both from, uh, my dad's from when he was a kid. Real, very old, but very cool at the same time. Um, it says the kettle, Iowa, made in Singapore. Hmm. That is odd. And I believe that actually finishes off the cars of this tour. Cars in general, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, all that. So now we can just start on the room part. Now here you have like some of the Disney Store stuff. Um, so they and all that. Stevenson, there's the uh, aircraft carrier from planes. If you go ahead and turn around. So, so now I'm going to take a look at all this. These are some cars that I'm just going to sell. Uh, so, I should plug this in. That all, that all lights up, and this is where I take my thumbnails uh, for videos that aren't like big lit. Oh, that works too. Uh, okay, that actually works a lot better. Alright. Over here you have our record and all that. And then you have, what's it called? These, these cases that I used to have. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's all my launchers. Um, 
that they randomly have, and then here's some other random accessories. The only collector card that I like really care about is uh, Dino Drafsky's one, uh, but I don't have his, so uh, as soon as I pick that one up, I don't really care about the collector cards. So uh, these are pretty cool to have, especially like some of the next gen ones, like Ed Trunkins, and I actually I'm a big fan of H.J. Hollis's. Uh, here we have this. This is something I made in like fourth grade as like an art project for my school. We're not going to talk about it. Uh, we have a big old Mustang. It's a cut from Rudy's, which is a uh, Texas place. And here's a flashlight. It, you know, lights out because it's a flashlight. Try to get a way to turn it off. There we go. No, no, stop. All right, there we go. There's an Alexa. And here's uh, a little button that you press when you press it. It lights up my bed. You see my bed right there. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. <coughs> Found it. Here's just a bucket that I have because I'm going to be uh, clearing out all this, uh, filtering, out, fi filtering out what I want and what I don't. But under here, you actually have a little uh, poster that I found from a long time ago, which is some, some of the next gen uh, things. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Here's the two pack version of Acer from 2011, along with some other. These are the Majorette like, posters or whatever, whatever they're card, called. Um, this is like a lowrider thing. If you press it, it'll play the lowrider song. It's got like cobwebs on it. That's very old. Um, you also have an Iron Man monster truck. Now these, if you remember these, you are a real OG. Uh, this, these are from uh, when I, these are where I used to make my videos. There would have been a uh, stand or a little desk like right here on my bed. Here's some quarries and all that. Um... And I record my videos like on my knees right here. Um, but those days are long gone. They're just kind of like fading out. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'll probably just leave them there because why not? Yeah, okay, there's Ramon's uh, House of Body Art. That's the old playset. Hey, I, I still think it's pretty cool. Oh, I just noticed something down here. Hmm. These. There's a funny little bit I was going to do. Um. In the first two recordings of this I did, I had to re-record them because I didn't think they uh, went too well. Well, the first one went pretty solid, but I uh, I got some new, like, stuff. Um, I set up those display case. I set up, uh, like, the collector card stuff and all that. Um, yeah, you have these. We're going to keep those under there because, um, yeah. But we're going to take a look at this right here. Uh, this is a very old playset. Um, uh, when I was a kid, um, and they, uh, I actually tried a while ago and it doesn't work. It actually worked for like a long time, but if you spin one, does it spin the others? It does, so they're, connect they're connected by some kind of like mechanism, I guess, or something. Oh. Oh, okay. So it does work. Um, let's go to the Let's see what happens. So, let's take this guy for example. He'll kind of just pathetically roll around. So, we're gonna, we're gonna turn it off because you know, we don't need that. We also don't need those in here, so that's why they're gonna stay under there until something happens where I need to like move all the stuff. There's an old uh, case that I have. I used to use it to carry cars like downstairs and upstairs. Uh, fits like 50s and deluxes and all that. Pretty cool. You have some other play sets under there. I think those are Matchbox ones, um, but I'm not sure. We have like a bunch of hats. Don't ask me why I have a blue cowboy hat because I don't know either. It's like a tornado thing. You like shake it, it makes a tornado or something. Um, here's the uh, pre pre uh, Precision Series little cards. You have some uh, extremely disturbing versions of Meteor and McQueen. Uh, you have a big lotus. I, uh, my dad actually used to own one, which is why I have uh, quite a few um, model lotuses. Oh, we're going to go in the closet because um, there's some cool stuff in there. You have some like posters of cars and all that. Um, here's a big banner. And if we go in the closet, oh yeah, here's a mall. Um, 
But, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot about this thing. This is uh, this right here is a um, this is my old uh, Minecraft skin. Um, yeah, not particularly proud of it. And for Christmas, I asked for a cardboard cutout of it, and uh, surprisingly, they listened. So um, I guess I'm kind of stuck with this now. Um, here's some other uh, package stuff. Not package stuff. Cards and all that. Here's the only one that I've actually kept completely intact. Which is Noah Go Check. Here's the Iron Wood thing. Uh, that I reviewed months ago. And here, here's where I keep all my card backs and stuff. Uh, it actually looks like a gigantic mess. Uh, but there's actually like boxes. You can see the outline of the box right there. So if you were to pick it up. Uh, and like uh, put them apart. It would actually be uh, pretty organized. Uh, up there you have a uh, like a Valentine's box I did. Back there you have like a little other cool car. Um, I'm not gonna show like too much of it because it like has pictures of my family and stuff, which you really weird. here's some other clothes and all that. But you okay? And I'm gonna exit that room. Where's that? Right the soccer ball. This is a plush soccer ball. I used to play with it all the time with my dad. And get it on and I'd always beat him. Why not do that? All right. Here's an old. Uh, what's this? This is a part of one of the uh, risers, it looks like. Um, it has like the same shape, so I'm just gonna put that over there for now. Here's an old Hot Wheels case, but uh, I used to have it filled, but uh, when uh, we got those installed over there, I moved them all, well, whatever ones that were left on there, over here, for there. Here's another like, little thing that I haven't uh, displayed anything on for ages, but uh, I think it looks uh, pretty cool actually. Here's a bunch of other random cars that I got in the lot with Max's car. They actually came in this bin over here, like a weird treat bin. Um, the, um, still haven't gotten around to selling them. I actually discovered today that uh, this is like a lights and sounds Francesco. Uh, just listen to this. Uh, I actually got it this morning for like around for 15 seconds. Uh, it just made like a bunch of like weird distorted noises. I'm gonna press it down there. Um, one foot works. Yeah, so that's a little messed up. I uh, do have Bob Ross. I don't know why I have this actually kind of as a gift. It's a cool little rock. Now you have this. Uh, I don't know where the other one went, but it makes a cool little noise. There's a broken Terry Gong. Uh, you can see like he's missing a bunch of stuff. So I'll be getting a new one too soon. Here's a Uno Reverse card, which I use for strategic purposes. I have a couple of like Bears bulb heads and hockey pucks and stuff. I don't know if that's actually a signed hockey puck. I don't know, because uh, I never I myself never got a couple any pucks. I did I do have an actual World Series of baseball from the 2016 Game six, World we'll Series. I got a toss up during practice, and uh, we flew like all the way up there to Cleveland because I'm a Cubs fan to watch the game when they won. And then the following day, they won the whole thing. Although I wasn't there for Game Seven. There's a picture of the uh, 59 second goal, the 17 seconds. Um, have a cool couple, couple of cool little piggy banks. We have two things of lotion because my hands get dry very easily, and my feet. We have a couple of like foreign coins. Um, I think it's pretty cool. We have this little thing, you know, which is a mo me uh, memorial for someone who passed away. Oh, there goes that thing. Uh, oh yeah, we have like a little Hot Wheels, um, what's it called, hauler with a sad, pathetic little custom in there. Uh, we also have like a Bears Boulevard thing. We also have like a Blackhawks win. Over here you have this thing, which is a picture of my dog when she was a lot younger and a picture of a narwhal which my sister like randomly hung this up for some reason oh there's a picture of pikachu which oh yeah i hung that up myself I'm, i do not play pokemon but uh have it. this is like a poster or something i've never tried i tried opening it but i couldn't get it to open over here you have a uh, picture of my dog um when she was still like the same age but she looks really weird in that photo because this was taken with like one of those weird cameras um like those weird handheld cameras. Up here you have like a bunch of medals and stuff. Just um, out from like, what are they called? Uh, Spartan races and stuff. Uh, and there's me 
Um, might as well just do it since we have a uh, mirror here, and I might as well just share it, because, I mean, why not? Why not? Um, there's nothing else too notable on this dresser. Uh, actually, I forgot about this. This is a, um, a poster, uh, the Cars 3 poster. There's a Cubs banner. This is a big cardboard cutout of a, um, of the 2011-12 poster, and I'm actually going to hang it up above my bed, not like, right there. I don't believe there's anything else to see. So we're gonna go, oh yeah, there's these, um, some of my car's books and all that. Um, there's the, uh, the racetrack that I used and the hauler that I used. And, oh, there's that too. Um, yeah, we're gonna shove that under there. Never to be seen again. Never to be seen again. Never ever. I believe that concludes it. So, we actually have one last thing to do. It really is all over. Um, oh yeah, we have like a few calendars and stuff. There's a corgi calendar. And then we have this, which is a dog calendar. Oh, uh, and there's a very nice mural um, on here with like uh, stingrays and fish and all that. Uh, behind the stressors, you can see like a giant manta ray. Uh, you also have uh, another manta ray back here, but you actually can't see it because there was a big dresser in the way. Well, you can kind of see it. There's a Lomi teddy bear back there, which I believe is a Blackhawks thing one. Um, yeah, there's the time. Um, I love this clock. It's just from my grandma's old house, and it's like retro themed. Right, not retro themed. It is retro. This is um, from like when my mom was a kid, and it was in that room for ages. So uh, when they moved into that house, I decided to keep it because um, it looks really nice. Uh, yeah, we have one last thing to show you, and that's the light switch, which. We're gonna shut off. It's like four on it. Then we're gonna go over here. Then we're gonna completely close these blinds. You can see outside. Looks pretty nice. Um, so here's that one. Close it. It's very loud. Um, all right. So we've got that pretty much all closed. Uh, that's actually that is actually a picture that my mom took at the Georgia Aquarium. Yeah, that's my finger right there, too. Um, there's a few other logos and stuff. And then, we're gonna come all the way over here. And we're gonna take this thing. I don't know if you know what this is. We're gonna hit on. Now right, we gotta switch it on. Let's switch it on first. Turn that on. Unplug this. Okay. Get that unplugged right there, like that. And then, we'll turn this on. Boom. There we go, it has all these cool little colors you can change it from. It's like red, I don't know, I gotta point it over there, like red and orange and all that, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, all the colors of the rainbow. You can see, all looking very nice, I'm a big fan of uh, having this here. There's white, well, we're gonna switch back to that normal blue, because it looks very, very nice. Uh, whenever you put like, show cars under it. This looks really like, I don't know, odd. But on the same like time, it's also like intriguing in a way. So we're gonna take a look at some cars underneath this cool little light here. Oh yeah, this is cool. There's Terry Cargas, and you, you, can, you can barely see him. You can only see like his decals occasionally. You can barely see him. Looks very, very cool. And this is just like floating eyes and tires. Uh, my personal favorite has to be uh, Winford over here. When you uh, take a good look at him, like above and all that. Yeah, that's the shot. Looks very cool. Shout out to Sensei Luminous, uh, who will now like this. Um, that's him, by the way. How about uh, this car right here? This car like looks completely blue, but you can see like with that little bit of light with with uh, that weird angle. You can see that it's actually um, blue, yellow. which has got some like weird. Thing off it. It's actually blue and yellow. What is that? It's like cobwebs and stuff. But you can see under this light here, and it's like completely blue. And it's because it's a very dark blue light, and a lot of the other ones aren't too visible. Too visible uh, on the camera. Walking again, semi still looks pretty normal. All this, this is cool. Sharpie. This car also looks very, very blue. 
Daniel Cruz Ramirez looks awesome under it as well. Uh, anyways, that's like getting super off track. But how about we do the fiber fuel hauler, the factory custom version? Yeah, it doesn't change a whole lot. Uh, so, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, showing off like, my hand and all that. You know, pretty cool. Um, since I've finally gotten all this done, I've had multiple like failures where everything would just come crashing down, and like after like a month and a half, uh, we finally got it to work with like cutting grooves and all that. And it only took like, a few days to fill it all in. And my finger is stuck in the King's uh, spoiler right here. Let's get the two coolest ones back in there. Uh, Alright, so uh, that pretty much concludes the video. Uh, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. That's a very nice, cool review right there. And I will see you all in the next video. Uh, I'll see you guys at Disney Dockets live stream tomorrow. Uh, and goodbye. I enjoy this uh, time lapse of... Uh, what was it? The, uh, me filling the cars. Have a good day.